Okay, I finally have received a very special firearm from Remington. It is the 200th Anniversary Limited Edition 11 Model 1100. So I'm trying to unbox it for... It's not technically my first time as I have partially seen it at Bass Pro, but I did not get a completely good look at it. So we're just getting her out of the box here. Nice little box. Okay, I'm gonna open her up. Try to do this with one hand. Okay, so back of the lid. It's got a little bit of Remington's history. Camera doesn't really want to focus perfectly well. Nice older picture of the plant. Morning. Okay. This is my paper from Bass. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so this is the stuff for the certificate. I will have to fill out the information and then I can receive the actual certificate. I believe that's the same thing that's molded there. And then a little bit of Remington's history in the timeline. That's pretty nice. Let's put this in here for now. We got our block as we normally would. Choke to wrench. A couple of extra chokes here. I'm assuming the gun came with a modified in it. I'm assuming we have a full choke. Yeah, this one's a full choke. And this one, Good. not hundred percent sure. Maybe I don't think this has a seal on it, so I don't have to worry about breaking that. Let me open this up real quick here. There we go. Let's see. Okay, let's see what else we got here. And then, this is your average. This comes with every gun. It's your Ten Commandments and your manual. This is the key from Bass Pro. You have to put a lock on all of them. 
I will not be keeping the lock on this one because of the trigger is gold plated. At least it gave me gives a nice gun suck. A lot more pain to do with one hand than I thought. I'm gonna put you down for a second. Okay. Put that over there. Walnut stock. Twenty-four carat bicentennial. Engraved. Flip it over. We have Mr. Mr. Remington. These engravings. Clean. They're pretty deep too, so you should hold up through time. And then should have a medallion on the bottom here. Two hundredth medallion. From the tip of the barrel is gold. Lined, well, now our serial numbers are. I got low serial number. Um, I don't really want to throw what the number is out into the public, but. Uh, all the bicentennials, I don't know if, because mine is the employee edition. Um, I should have actually one more marking here somewhere that verifies mine. And there it is right there. This comes on the employee only from what I understand. I'm trying to get my camera to focus here. Hour 200th. I believe this marking only comes on the employee edition. Now, um, other than that, the guns that will be coming out to the public, from what I know, the rest of it is all the same. It's only that marking, and I'm not 100% sure. I hear the serial numbers are different. Um, the Remington. Serial number starts, I believe, with R200. No, it starts... Okay, no, these don't start with the R200. These do start with... Or all, okay, all these all are start with the model of the gun. So mine's Rem 1100, and the 870 would be Rem 87, and then the rest of the serial number. No, my lighting's not the greatest. I know my camera certainly does not do this gun justice whatsoever. But I wanted to make sure I shared this. I want to get this gun out in the public a little bit. Um, there's not too many out yet. Uh, just the employees at the moment are receiving theirs at this time from what I know and from what the local FFF, FFL dealers are telling me is that they haven't released any of the customer guns because Remington wanted to make sure their employees got theirs first. 
So I hope you enjoyed this short little video and uh, hopefully we'll have another one soon.